Hey, 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 what is happening all you Mechanical Maniacs? Here's Quasar here. Welcome back to another episode of Barn Bargains and Other Cheap Challenges. Yes, we are in my shop of Quasar's Customs. And today we are hopefully going to finish up our beautiful orange Bronco here. I think we can get this done today. We've got the uh, front suspension to do. And I think I've got enough parts. Uh, I think that's about all we need to do. So yeah, we um, I actually came back into the game and I took this took the Mustang Maverick back around the track. I was able to get her down under another two minutes. I think I was able to get her into a um, uh, was it this one or was it uh, I, I've I've been hitting the track so much, but I was able to get this again right under two minutes. Not quite, you know, not real good under two minutes, but just about there. Um, so. Not, not a whole lot I can do with that outside of, you know, maybe, oh, I don't know, repairing the carburetor, giving it a little more horsepower. I could probably get, I could get a little more power down the straightaway. That would probably wouldn't work. Um, but still, hands down, the hot rod over there was just fun to drive around that track. Um, haven't had this back out to the drag strip for a while, but that's okay. Um, we've just had, we've just been busy. You know what I mean? Just been busy. Well, I hope this video is hoping you, hoping it's finding you all happy and healthy. I mean, there has just been a lot going on, and I have, you know, when I started this, I, I actually, I had everything all set up. I was ready to go. I hit the record button, and I had the blue screen of death. Yeah, uh, talk about wanting to uh, stain my shorts when I saw that. I thought for sure something was done. Um, but we're good. We're good. We, I, uh, rebooted everything and I'm good to go. I'm back up and running. So that's good. Uh, <laughs> I was, I was like, oh no, what have I got going on now? I have to do something with this. I thought maybe for sure, um, I had blown up something, right? I had, I had melted something, uh, because my, I mean, my games run hot anyway. And I was running, um, I was running a download for gas station simulator at the same time I was lo I was loading in uh, on something else and at the same time I was listening to a video on YouTube now um, I got I have to say I've got um, a new why can't what, what is up with this why can't there we go. Um, I've got a new song that's stuck in my head uh, if you know who Hardy is Hardy is a country, I think he's a country western singer. Now, I say that uh, under the premise that if you heard uh, a couple of his songs, you would go, this guy's not country, right? But uh, the one song that's been playing on the radio an awful lot right now is um, uh, Stay in the Truck, which is basically a song about a guy who's lost in a small town. He sees this young lady that's walking around, and she's been beat up. So he basically, you know, he picks her up and he asks where he is and he goes and basically shoots him and just hangs out for the cops, waits for the cops to come. And basically he's saying, you know, it was worth it for him to go to jail because this guy is not going to beat up on this woman again. Right. Um, but, yeah, that's kind of like that dark. That's really dark. You know, back when um, back mm -hmm. when uh, Garth Brooks had. um uh, Thunder Rolls, people thought that was dark, right? Because the, the third, the, um, the like the, the extra verse on it has her going back in the bedroom. You know, she like, like looks in the mirror and says, he's not going to, she's not going to wonder wherever he's been ever again and goes and basically grabs the gun and, and, and insinuates that she shoots him. So, um, so yeah, I, I mean, that was dark, but this is even darker, you know? Um, so, uh, anyway, the song is stuck. It, it, it is by Hardy, but the name of the song is called Jack. Now, it's the from the premise of it is that um, it's from the perspective of the alcohol Jack Daniels. So um, you, you've got to check it out, download it, do whatever you know, put it on your iTunes, or, or you know, just get that. It, it's like it's like one of them. them them songs that are stuck stuck in your head you just can't get rid of you know uh for me that's what it is and it's just holy crap man i, I just i enjoyed the song i just really thoroughly enjoyed the song 
So yeah, I had to had to go pick that thing up and throw it on my throw it on my iTunes. So I had it available to me whenever I travel. Uh, I've always got uh, I got a lot of songs on my my phone, and then uh, I have an iWatch that I go for a run every once in a while. I listen to music that way as well. But yeah. Um, used to be music was a big part of my life. I used to, you know, like take a look at, listen to an album. Yes, I said album, vinyl. Uh, this is before the days of cassettes and eight tracks. Yes, I said eight tracks. And um, I could tell you, you know, what song was going to make it and what song wasn't. Uh, my my best one was uh, Pyromania from Death Leopard. Man, it was like every song on there was like it was it was radio bound. But um, I don't know where I was going with that, but yeah, music has just been has, was a big part of my life up until I I joined the Navy, and then I just kind of lost track of I kind of lost track of life when I joined the Navy. To be honest with you, I, uh, just I don't know when you're living on board a ship twenty four seven and you're working sixteen hour days, you kind of lose track of life, I guess. Um, but yeah, but yeah, I, I I heard this song at. Believe it or not, I heard this song. I know Hardy, well, at least I know Hardy of Hardy was of that uh, was the uh, um, "Stay in the Truck" song. He's also got another song. You know, I think he's uh, "Rednecker Than You." Yeah, he's like a redneck song, "Rednecker Than You." That's another one he does, and I didn't realize he had done that one too. But um, yeah, I was like, yeah, there's another one sold out. That's another one you need to hear. Sold out. You're like, this is a country singer? It kind of starts out all country. And all of a sudden, it's just like, no, it's not country anymore. Um, another one is radio song. This ain't your radio song. And it's not a radio song. So you've got to check that one out, too. If you're you're, you're like into the, I don't know what it's called. It's like the, the whole the screaming, um, singing type. Um, you You will actually really like some of his tunes. All right, let's get back to business here so we, I can figure out what I'm doing here. Let's sort it out by name. Okay, so my drums, I can actually repair my drums with the QOL mod. mod. I can repair the drums, which is awesome. I love it. I love this. I love this whole feature right here all together because it makes everything so real. I know you've, said, you've heard, you heard me say it time and time again. I can't just stress that enough. Oh, and by the way... By the way, um, can I? Yes, I can go out to the office. Yes, this is the um, of the QOL mod. This is, you know, some of the stuff that's in here. This is the office. And wait a minute, wait a minute, go out to the store. <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh, I gotta open up both doors. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'm outside again. I'm outside again. So look at that. Okay. Well, shut the doors. Shut the doors. There we go. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, so that's an addition to the QOL mod. Um, oh, what I was going to show you outside was um, the truck that was rotating up on top. Yeah, that was a special event. So you have special events that happen in a QOL mod. Uh, if you've been following the series and um, my Rot to Rad series, you'll notice a few things. One, um, they had I had a uh, another a, a car had a wheel stolen off it, right? Another time, there was a wreck right out here, right? Um, and then we had the truck rotating up here. I don't know if there's what all the special events happen, but it's like random events that just happen here and there. So that actually adds some coolness to the game, actually, in, in my opinion. I mean, come on. It's just it's just cool. I mean, yeah, it's not cool to have a tire stolen off your car, but hey, I thought it was a cool add-on with this. So Metsy is... Mets, Mets, find Metsy. Mets does a really good job with this mod, and believe it or not, Red Dot has actually kind of endorsed it to say, "Yeah, this is pretty legit." So, um, if you get it, if you want to get it, now I will say when you have to use uh, the melon loader for it, I uh, watched my video for the melon loader. Make sure you only use the 0.5.7 version of melon loader. Um, that's the only version that actually works with it right now. So remember that when you get there. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Um, we do have to repair, we have a drive axle. Um, shock absorbers are not repairable. 
So we need to get, um, so let's get two of those and we're going to go ahead and sell off these. So let's go ahead and hop over there and get, go ahead and get these while I'm thinking about it. There we go. Um, we need, uh, what else do we need here? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like these are not repairable. So I need two of these. I don't know why I keep doing that. Um, tires I'll have to replace. Outer tie rods I'll have to replace. Uh, and small rubber bushings. The only thing that we need to actually replace and repair is the front drive axle, which I better have one in here somewhere. Um, I do. Front drive axle right there. Um, just because, man, I, I was out looking, I was out looking for pieces, so I was, I was lucky enough to find this one. So I'm, I'm happy to have it. And this was off of a Bronco that was in really dire shape. So I was able to scrap a few pieces off the front end. It had no rear end underneath it, pretty much no engine. So yeah, that was, that was pretty much the way it was. All right, let's uh, get some shopping done here. Tie rod ends, we need two of those, please. Thank you very much. Uh, outer tie rod ends, of course, we need two of those. And we're small rubber bushings, we need four, please. Now, as far as tires, go ahead and get over here. Uh, what is it we need for tires? Go ahead and sell that off. We don't need that. Uh, tie rods, we can get rid of those. Uh, small rubber bushings, we'll go ahead and get rid of those. Now for the off-road tires, 190, 80, 15. 190, 80, 15. I don't have a 190. Oh, hang on. What was it again? Holy cow. Um, 190, 80. Right. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I thought, okay, so I don't have a 190. So what we're going to have to do is go with a 195. 80. 15. Go. Got twos of them. Twos of them. Gotcha. All right, let's go ahead and balance these bad boys up. Uh, yeah, so I was doing all th kinds of things on the computer, and it blue screened on me, and I was like, oh, no. What have I done? Uh, now, I think I've got everything. I've even um, even had comments that, yes, I do have a transmission in my in my warehouse. So I'm going to have to go get that after I get everything taken care of here on the front end uh, just to see what else we need. Uh, interior, I don't remember if I've done the interior or not, but we will get to that. I'm hoping to have this completed today uh, during this episode just because... It just seems like we should be able to do this, right? I mean, this is this is, shouldn't be that bad. We're not painting anything. We're just kind of slapping everything together. And I'm surprised this doesn't bolt in. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm surprised with this. Like the drive axles in the backdrop bolt in. Yeah, baby. All right. So yeah, I was um, I was also like I was saying I was downloading um, uh, gas simulator. Um, there's a new air DLC, airstrip DLC that's coming out for it. I think it is coming out or has come out or will be coming out for it soon. And I just noticed I need a oil filter for that bad boy. Oof, that would have been horrible trying to put oil in that. Oil filters will have to be bought and they cannot be repaired, so yeah. I mean, who wants to put a used oil filter in here anyway? We just rebuilt the engine there. Craziness, I say. Craziness. Okay, that, that. Uh, 
There we go. And voila. There we go. Now we should have everything put together on the front end, right? So I should have nothing in my inventory. Uh, two tires. Oh, I didn't put the... <laughs> oh, I didn't put that on. Wow. This is why I like being able to buy all the parts. And then when I go back into it, I say, okay, what parts do I have left over? Oh, wait a minute. Why do I have spare parts? Um, yeah, let's go here, here, and get myself an oil filter. I need that. Um, these exhaust pipes are not repairable. So I need one, two of those. I need a front drive shaft F and a gearbox V8 overhead valve. So let's go ahead. Um, V8 overhead valve. I'd already had one. Go ahead and grab the starter for that uh, front shaft. There's the two exhausts. There's the drive shaft for So I had most of the pieces already. I just threw some stuff in here just in case I had some failures while I was done with trying to repair it. Um, yeah, so. All right, so let's see here. Yeah, this, this is going to go together really quick, I think. I don't know if there's... I, I think I'd have to do something with the interior, but... Um, that's not a big deal. It will just that'll all have to be replaced anyway because you can't repair anything on the interior. That's all we should have is like an interior shop, and you know, you know, like we have. Um, 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 let's see, like we have this this little area back here, right, to upgrade your parts, which is really cool. Can be, right? Um, what about you know some place like a um, um, an interior shop? Like I don't know, have an interior shop like. Over there, that's the interior shop. So you have to walk way over there. You know, order your materials, and it takes a little bit of while. Whatever, you know. What do you think? You gotta push that for red dot. All right, let's see. Let's see what we have here. We are the frame body interior is ninety five percent. So I don't have the interior completely done. I wonder what's ninety five percentage in the interior. Um, but yeah, I think actually we haven't like repaired any of this stuff, right? Yeah, so all this stuff is all this stuff is needs to be removed and repaired. So let's go ahead and take this all apart. We've got the underneath, I believe, pretty much intact and done. Um, we need to do all new glass. And license plates, of course. Okay, I think that's... Okay, so... Let's see. Uh, yep, 94% steering wheel, seats. Yeah, so, okay, so we're going to do the seats first, okay? Let's go ahead and get into here and the steering wheel we'll go ahead and bounce into there and get to the interior shop we'll go ahead and get that taken care of right now um, okay yeah that's take care of the interior real quick Um, this piece here, car part one, what are you? 80%. Um, anything else in here that needs to be? Nope, I don't, don't think so. Okay, so let's go ahead and repair these parts. Hopefully, brush your fingers, I don't screw this up and mess up these parts. These, I mean, these parts should be fairly... They're fairly in decent shape, so we shouldn't have any issues with this. If I miss the mark on these, I just need to go home. I, I just need to go home and quit repairing stuff because, I mean, if I can't hit it within this mark, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. Yeah, I forgot all about the body parts. I should have like repaired these like off camera. But then you, you don't, wouldn't know if I like bought them new or not. And that's the thing. I try to be as honest. As, I, I am as honest as possible with them when it comes to this stuff. If I say I'm going out to the junkyard to find something. Um, it used to be. It used to be. Honestly. It used to be that I would probably hit the junkyard two or three times. Before I found something interesting to actually take home. Right. Um, and that's because. That's because. How can I get that in there? Our part one. There we go. Um, and that's because uh, I just I did so many different cars and stuff. So, and there was never anything um, different. So yeah, I would I would probably hit it a few times before I got before I was satisfied with a uh, a group of cars that were in the uh, junkyard. And this was back in uh, eighteen. Uh, 28, the 2018 series is when I was doing that. Um, so far this time around, I really haven't had, I haven't had a need to, especially when it came to the QOL mod. Um, for the most part, every time I go in there, I find something different. So, so far, so good on it. Um, and if I ever have to, I will tell you guys that, oh, what's the, what's the I'll let you know that. You know, I had to visit, I had to visit the junkyard X amount of times to you know, do whatever. Uh, in my inventory, we need glass. Okay, this can go away. This can go away. This can go away. Now we need this, this, and this. Uh, okay. Okay, dokie. I've got that song playing in my head. I just can't. It's just, it's crazy. Fresh imports, Bronco. Open a shopping list. We don't need that anymore. No. Open a shopping list. There we go. Uh, need that. Need that. And we need that. There we go. Front and the sides. Is this, this is all one piece. Okay, so it does nothing in there. All right. All right, cool. Um, so don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. I need two California license plates to send her out of here with some fresh, clean plates. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Um, so yeah, we are going to go here. And what the beautiful thing is, is that if I replace the plates, um, just with some California plates here, we'll just... California, California, California. Okay, we need two. Thank you very much. Yes. Um, they are actually the same as what's in my inventory. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, no, I don't want to sell it. So, yeah, so GVN NW, right? GVN NW. Nope. Um, ah, anyway. It's the same plate, trust me. We, 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 okay, here. I'll, tell, I'll, show, I'll show you one. There you go. It's the bad one. GVN NW 42V. Yep. See? So, that's actually pretty cool. Um, I, I like being able to do that because then you get the exact same plate as before. And there you go. All right. Now we have to do something to the framework because I haven't done anything to the framework. Uh, 500 credits for that. And with that being said, I should have everything 100% except for the body. What is, what am I missing on the body? I'm missing something. Go figure. Car part three, car part two. Okay. Uh, car part three. Okay, so that's. Okay, so I don't know how I missed that. Okay, what about car part two? What is car part two? Okay, so let's take a look in here and we'll go car part two. 
Interior trim. See, now I said when in the very beginning I was looking around when I had this stuff out, right? Um, okay, what I need to do is put her on the ground. Send her outside. I knew, I knew there was something that I needed to do. I just did not know what. Um, oh, I got the roadster out there, don't I? Okay, we'll swap it with the roadster. Um, you thought it was right there. Yeah, I totally missed it. Totally missed it. So, I think it's just interior trim part two. That's fine. Um, we'll put this back in here. It's the speakers and everything, so that's cool. So now we should be good to go, right? We should be, we should be golden. We should be like absolutely golden. Uh, front clamshell. Nope, we're not down yet. Uh, there it is. All right, I missed that piece too. So I knew it was there somewhere. I just could not figure out where. Oh, I could have uh, I could have repaired that. So my bad on that. I bought brand new, so I goofed up on that. So let's go ahead and just to make just to save face, just to save face, right? We'll take that out, and then we'll put this one in because that's the this one that was painted. That's the original one. But yeah, we'll put that back in. There we go. So the original is back in. Oof! Screw that up. All right, front clamshell in place, good to go. All right, now we should be 100%. Uh, let's see, go ahead and, uh, I don't wanna, I wanna sell that. Um, okay, we should be 100% all the way around. Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full, yes. Yes, we are done. All right, so I think for right now, I think I'm gonna keep her for right now. Um, I am down to 973 on my credits. I'm not quite hit a million yet, but I think, um, Let's see. That's 229. So I don't think I'm going to keep it. Uh, it. Anything. Let's see. Hang on. I say that 168. 144. Okay. So my truck is there. Uh, this truck I know for sure is there. Mustang. No. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. I, I like the color of it. But I am going to get rid of it. So any other custom... Uh, any other custom classic that I get or classic creation is what this is considered to be a classic creation. So anything that's less than 150,000 miles, I will keep. But this one, I'm just going to go ahead and sell. It was a beauty. It was nice. And it's out of here. All right. Made a little cha-ching on it. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Which brings me to this. I have to get a couple new projects. Um... I think I like my rot to rad here Mustang, so it's going to go away. I think it's going to end up on the back of the truck over there. Yep. Yep. So, um, got that going on. Uh, my rod here, uh, because I lost, I lost some, I lost some, uh, lost a little bit of time on this. Um, I'm not, I'm at a high D right now. I'm not quite there where I need to be. Um, but uh, we could always go to the drag strip and mess with this a little bit more and figure it out. All right, we're going to put this back out there out front just because I like it sitting out there instead of inside the shop. Uh, all right, so that leaves me with an empty bay. Yeah, what's my, this is my first tra trash to track car, the Japanese special. Um, I don't know. Should I, like, uh, I don't know. Should I replenish this? Should I rebuild it? I mean, you guys let me know. If you, you think I should just rebuild it or leave it as it is, I mean, it's kind of cool the way it is. It's kind of weird looking. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we've got to go out and get some new project. So, please, please, please stand by because we have to go out and get some new projects. And I think what I actually 
may want to do. Judge was, what was the judge? I don't remember what the judge was. I think it was a, were you a project car judge? I don't remember what the judge was. This was just my, you know, my, my, my truck, my, this was my shop truck, one of my first shop trucks. So, looks cool. But my tow truck there, when I get it done, is going to go over here. So, yeah. Hopefully I can get this done eventually. Uh, I gotta rebuild the engine and everything. I may just yank that whole engine out, build something brand new, put that engine in my warehouse. That way I have something to go by. Um, yeah, and this is my config. This is a, uh, basically a combination of you know, a lowered Ford F100 from Dead Bob 777, and I added the stuff to it. All right. Thing is enough chit chatting for right now. We need to go get some next projects, but we will do that on the next episode. Until then, you guys take care, have fun, and I will see you in the next episode. This is Quasar saying good night, everyone, and I am out.